Hi, this is Randy from Fried Eggs Golf, and welcome to Over Easy. Now, there's a couple of things I want to talk about in this week's episode, but first and foremost, I want to thank each and every one of you that went to FriedEggsGolf.com and purchased a t-shirt. I actually sold out of shirts within the first day, which is absolutely mind-blowing. So I apologize to those of you who haven't received a shirt yet. I had to place another order. They should be on their way, and I should have them this week. They should be on their way to you shortly. Also, I'd like to apologize to those of you who went to the website first thing and tried to buy a shirt and your credit card was denied and then you contacted your bank because you thought that your credit card was stolen only to find out that I forgot to turn the website off of test mode. Thank you anyway, so if you didn't get a shirt or your credit card got denied, it was my fault, it was on me. So if you want to go to the website, it's fridaysgolf.com, you can purchase a shirt, and as I stated before, $5 from each shirt purchase goes to the First Tee Foundation. As of right now, we have raised almost $300 for the First Tee in my local sector. So I will be making that donation as soon as the sales stop rolling through, because I just want to cut them one big old fat check. Now I'd also like to thank my golf spy for awarding me the 2017 YouTube Golf Video of the Year. Now for those of you who follow me on Twitter, you'll know that I trolled them and they made this as a joke, but it just goes to show you that even though they take their reviews of products very seriously, the guys at my golf spy have an amazing sense of humor and they've always been a supporter of this channel and for that I am thankful and thank you for the award. Now that all the thanks are in order, I'd like to take a second to talk a little more in depth about my one wheel. Now, for those of you that are new to the channel and you have no idea what a one wheel is, it's it's this thing. It's electronic skateboard hoverboard thing. Anyway, I'm not gonna bore you with the details. There's videos about it on my channel, go check it out. Now for those of you that have been asking me, Randy, where is the one wheel? Why aren't you doing one wheel vlogs? That's what you said you were gonna do. Why aren't you doing it? I'm sorry. And you're correct, when I purchased the one wheel, I had envisioned making course vlogs and content featured around it to help grow the game within a demographic that golf really isn't that appealing to. The One Wheel Plus is an interesting piece of hardware. It seems like it's an entertaining toy, but it's not. It's really a, a death machine. Now what I mean by that is the one wheel is meant to be respected. So when you're riding it, you have to understand that there are certain risks that you're taking. There are other electric skateboards out there that go speeds that the one wheel go, but when they stop working, they just become skateboards. When the one wheel stops working at 21 miles an hour, it becomes a human catapult. Uh, imagine standing on the hood of a car and, and you're leaning heavily on your lead foot and your friend's driving this car down the road at 21.9 miles an hour. And for no reason at all, and without any warning, he just slams on the brakes. When you become super confident on this thing, it actually starts to become more dangerous because when you ride closer to that top speed, the one wheel will try its best to kick back and slow you down, but when it can't, it just stops. And I don't want you to think that it's like, oh, you just wrecked because you're inexperienced, you don't really know what you're doing. I have over 157 miles logged on this board. This is just something that I've seen consistently, not only through my reviews, but through other people's reviews, is that when you push this board to its limits, it just quits on you. And that's not cool because it chooses to quit at max speed. My suggestion, maybe for a fix for this, would just, you know, give me like a tone. Like, if you're about ready to kill me, just be like, beep, and I'll be like, I'm about to die. Granted, I've taken this to the course and I've played golf with it, and it's amazing. It's awesome. But there are restrictions to the conditions that you need in order to make this an effective tool to carry around the golf course. Please know that if you ride this thing responsibly, as in within its limits, it is a blast. I absolutely love it when you take it out on the course and you ride it between the speeds of eight and 12 miles an hour, it is fantastic. I mean, that's as fast as you really need to go with a golf bag on your back. I've never wrecked this thing on the golf course. I have only wrecked it while trying to be an absolute maniac on it. I don't vlog with it because I'm carrying a camera in my hand, I have my golf bag on my back, and it is just super stressful and I'm full of anxiety because I'm like at any moment I could just biff it on this thing, land on my camera, crush it, snap my golf clubs on my back. So. I don't like to multitask while I'm riding this thing. Taking it out on the golf course by yourself to play, absolutely fine, fun, fantastic, but as soon as you start adding other elements to it, so 
Do I regret buying the one wheel? Uh, absolutely not. I've had more fun on that thing than I care to admit. You just need to take into consideration if you're buying this to play golf, you it has its limitations. It needs to be firm, preferably dry, and also if there's a lot of rough terrain that you have to go over, it's it's not as fun to ride, it's not as smooth. So as long as you take that into account, when you go out to the course, uh, it's, it's a blast. I love riding it around. It gets around the course very quickly and you assume a little risk as far as falling off, but I think it's well worth it. So uh, I'll leave that up to you guys. It's really your opinion. I just wanted to give you a little bit better understanding of why it hasn't been featured in as many videos as I was hoping it would be. I think that about wraps it up. Thank you as always for watching. Please thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. But until next time, I'll see you later. Moving on from there, I would like to talk to you guys a little bit more in depth about... Uh, <sighs>